Hello everyone, Mr. Sorkin here, welcome back to, well not really welcome back, but welcome to the State of Play reaction video. I'm a bit behind this and I do apologize, technical difficulties. Glad I got figured out earlier instead of later. <laughs> As I say, play starts in a couple seconds. I really didn't have much predictions, so that's why I'm not really... I'm back so far, um, if anything, maybe, I'm hoping a Spider-Man showcase, considering we just got that review over PS PlayStation, same pay. You guys, we're gonna have a re we have Spider-Man reveal, cause yeah, that'd be awesome. Anyway, 24 seconds. Um, I'm just babe. You still see that line, don't you? The line right up there, and it keeps on moving. I can't tell if that's my capture card or the stream itself. I hope it's the stream itself, but if it shows up during the regular stuff. Let's hope not. Okay, woo! Hello, line. It just kind of started. No final countdown? That's odd. But you do you. For a second, I thought my PlayStation turned on. I'm like, that's the same sound it makes. Not bad again. I wish there was more oh, transition to it. Okay, what's our first reveal? Raid RP to M. Let's see what it's going to be. Further, my eyes are like blank. Okay. Oh, crap! Yeah, I'm going to begin. Crash 4, hey, about everyone. time. I'm Lou Stutter, producer at Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Oh man, that level of course. I'm not a big Crash fan, but it looks great. Warped. The devious villains Neocortex and Dr. Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. That's good. They now they've see. got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. All it's dimensions! Crash and Coco to save the day. I like Coco's redesign. Crash Bandicoot 4 Crash, is I mean, the first so Coco's I like. new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us oh, at Toys okay. for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans, as well as new players, to this amazing franchise. Okay. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. Oh yeah, then, we fell in love with. to introduce some new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Okay. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started, and where we pick things up again in Crash. Oh, I like how he has a comfortable couch, and he's just kind of living on the beach. He looks comfortable, you know, just like a, and throughout Crash a regular Ford, band you kind of see day. those changes like, to our yeah. gameplay, and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games. Oh, that's while nice. While also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. That's kind of cool. Throughout Crash 4, I like that. wide open new vistas, new character models, oh, and great. lots of expressive animations. That's and with good animation that, right there. <laughs> that's cartoony animation. I love myself to cartoon animation. Wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. Coco almost died there. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have yeah, you need to work on that editing right there. The costumes look great. I like that neon skins one. Are I like totally the skins are totally cosmetic too. and a fun way to explore. I like that unicorn with Coco. Like, oh, and just to be clear, man. there's no okay. I like that Sailor Coco skins too. Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. And also DLC. Crash Four also introduces the Quantum Masks. The Ooh, powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. I like the gravity you one. You it's the same face up and down. It's kind of nice. flip your Reminds me a lot of like Janus stuff from Green Valley. Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down okay. the around you. It's nice. They have four mastery Loli, here. Who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Oh, that's Bending cool. the rules of reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano. But that's oh, gonna have to wait Akano, for Akano, okay. What we can tell you today, though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get yeah, to play with Coco was playable. this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. Yeah, Coco! Coco was awesome. Crash, I like Coco's also character. Coco. It was also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the story this time as well. That's good. That's good for Coco. All. We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure. Okay, so who? Can provide their own Come on, Neocortex. We had to play Cortex. Here you can okay. see that yes, you can play as Cortex. 
He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. In addition oh, okay. to playing his Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through. Yeah, cool. I repeat, that's unique. You get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash Four. Yeah, that's awesome. No lot has changed there. in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. In fact. He hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Oh, that's good for him. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and getting sucked into no, a- No, not adventure. the diner! Poor Dingo Dial. Finally, there's Ooh, one that was burning. I'm incredibly excited to show you today. Okay, the Crash tell Bandicoot me more, tell me more, what's that exciting ways to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. Is there completion well, for stuff? Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed okay. up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new style of play for Crash 4 that we call Inverted Mode. Ooh, Inverted Mode. So cool. Bump a souped up, bumper berry fueled table. I like the color mode. differences between the two. They look really perspective nice. perspective shifted. But now, each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel of the experience. I concur. One dimension could be asking you to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another neon wasteland. players with spinning paint all over the environment to see their path. I forward. like that one. We've even got one that feels like an old-timey movie, with the overcranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. Oh, okay. Once unlocked, players can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun yeah, feature that's going to give every runner. player, especially the completionists out there, a reason to revisit each level again to see what new I can't do the water one. I'll get you like, oh, I'm gonna die. Crash there. So that's Ugh. some of the new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. All right, that looks nice. Space and time October 2nd, I think you have to order it. Ooga. I'll, I'll pre order it. I, I'll play it. I won't do it. I'll be a bit. It looks fun. Today's state of play is loaded with third party updates for PS4 and PSVR, and some new PS5 gameplay, too. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting PS5 gameplay. We open the show with an all new look at Crash 4. It's about time. Okay. Coming uh -huh. to PlayStation 4 on October 2nd. Okay. Now let's keep the party going. Oh, God, Hitman 3. This from IO Interactive. I don't care about Hitman. I really don't. So I'm kind of like a. I O E I one O I. That's like the villains from um, Ready Player One. How's the guy not standing out in the crowd? They're probably just like, "Hey, that's the Hitman guy. You know the guy with the barcode tattoo? Yeah, that's him." Okay. And the only reason I'm disappointed is I wanted more. Oh, Hi, VR. Okay. Day. You should clingle. Have fun. Oh, don't worry about that. Those look like the worst character graphics I've ever seen. Those look like the same group of people, the same person. There's like, we have to put an Islamic person there. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And how's he not stand out following this guy? I mean, come on, this seems like a clear standout thing. He's obviously going after this guy. How does he not close the door? Okay, the door closed automatically without anyone touching it, but you know, doors. He's gonna strangle him, he's gonna strangle him, he's gonna strangle him. And then they do the Hitchcock method of just being like, Your imagination fills in the blanks! And it's like, okay. Oh, play the whole trilogy. Good. Death awaits, January 21. Good. Um, not actual gameplay, okay. What's going on? Is there a puzzle? Because puzzles is a place where people go to make them feel alone. I don't know all the words, but the rhythm goes like so. That's a pretty good hand, what's he gonna do? I'm pretty sure it's not fake, it looks pretty fake though. Dear Jairi, I committed a crime. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's rebuilding itself. Okay, that's kinda cool. Where are we going with this? My wife died. Okay, so the wife di died. The wife obviously died. Yeah, because there's the wedding ring. So I'm assuming the guy's wife died. Or he killed her. I'm going with he killed her or she's dead. That's my two guesses. Like, oh, she's probably dead. She just did everything that's broken around. What's going on with the painting? What's going on with the painting? What's going on? It looks kind of pretty. He, is this a... Okay, this is some kind of... Good wife. Oh, that looks rather interesting. Is this a side scroller? 
Hello, Cerberus. That guy looks so sad looking. Was it Braid Anniversary Edition? Oh, this is this is even like this beforehand. I I've never heard about it before. So it'll be like, how did you not know about Braid? It's like, I honestly didn't know it existed. Braid. Anniversary. We are Stop. happy to announce Braid Anniversary Edition. Oh, that's a comparison. Okay. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you it manipulate looks pretty. time, hand repainted for modern high resolutions. Hand repainted? Wow. To make them more unique. And it's even more like a living painting with brush strokes animating the world. Wow, that's there great. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. Wow. There are new animations for smooth that motion, really smooth. improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews. Oh, that's cool. Like puzzle design, programming, and visual art. We plan to make it the most detailed commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games are made, Braid Anniversary Edition will be a really good resource. We oh, hope that's you nice. enjoy the game when it comes out early next year. Braid Anniversary Edition is coming in 2021. That looks like a nice, happy little plush dinosaur. He just like it has a cute name. It has a like cute theme like Braid Anniversary to Scoop. PS5. Atlas is a mythic adventure set on a what? mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from PS5. I'm intrigued. What is this? Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. Giant Squid I'm Hentai. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. The Pathless. The Pathless is an open world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter. The hunter. It looks too much like Breath of the Wild for the my life. The hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Yeah, this is too much like Breath of the Wild. But Fluid, dynamic movement is at the core of the Pathless. Or... So the game's unique take on archery is all about timing, not aiming down sights. This okay. design was critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. You instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. Is this a rhythm game or what is this game? It's an open world, that doesn't really help me. How do you think that like accuracy has something to do with this? With help from the eagle, you can even fly. Fly? Between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathos. That's not an eagle, buddy. That's an owl. You can it's gain altitude nothing like an eagle whatsoever. Just hitchhike on my uh, eagle owl. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Make sure you pet the eagle to keep it clean and in good flying condition. Oh, you can just wipe away birds. There, now you will not be confined, chicken. You miss a giant gaping spot. That didn't look the You'll best. Find secrets all over the island. If you know yeah, where to look. Yeah, your body did not look anything like an eagle, and that itself it looked more like a hawk than an eagle. You can shoot down flames! Collecting crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. Okay. I'm somewhat bored by this already. You'll also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Yeah, this is a the wild clone. It truly is. It's like, hey, you remember when Breath of the Wild was successful? And we're just like, yeah? But didn't some people not like it? Pfft, those people know nothing! So what do they know? You just said that Amy doesn't all matter. Finding your own way forward. So that's counterintuitive. Like like, like, Amy doesn't games, matter. That had no matter, matter there. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Um. Okay. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit. Into the spirit world, hey. We're gonna transcend space and time. We shall be part of the Avatar state soon. Our power will grow, and the power of ascension spirits. will change forever. Will pose Until a I'm constant weird. threat to you on your quest. In case you can. They will try to separate you from the eagle. Not the eagle. What now? Just a yeah, cloud of darkness. Hello, calamity again. How art thou? That? that looks unbelievably stupid. Eagle! Metal wing smash! Sorry, I had a joke there. <laughs> no, Eagle! Go, my! Light to avoid detection. Six leg deer lizard thing? 
It detected me. It detected me. It connect. It just saw you. You're literally in line of sight. Here you go, metal. You're literally in his line of sight. How is he not seeing you? Won't be able you? to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. I'm so lost right now. I don't even care. Up yours. That's what this fist is meant to represent. It looks nothing horrible based on what I see. The obelisks wow. are restored. The cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic final battle. Dramatic final battle, yeah. Your thing looks like a quick time event. Than anything, buddy. You are not. You are not Dark Souls. You are not. No, you're not Rocksteady. You're not Insomniac just three boss battles. You're just. Wow, this looks awful. I hope someone, like, reworks this quickly. Before I realize that everything is wrong with this already. Wow. At the same time, it's like, I, I want to encourage more individual like, he's, this just sucks. Wow. That's a complete change of pace from the gameplay that you established beforehand. Um, thank you. It's not uh, stupid. Yeah, don't show close of it, because we already determined it looks stupid. The hunter and eagle will have to defeat the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world. The cursed spirits! You know how stupid you sound saying this shit? But it probably doesn't sound weird to I me, but I've said weird stuff. Of the pathless. But this doesn't look good, it really doesn't! There's so much more to explore and discover. The gameplay is terrible! This is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. And no one will buy it. Enough said. Watch as he gets like praised by IGN and then no one plays it. It's gonna be the Persona. I don't even want to say Persona because Persona has such a high standing. But at the same time, I want to say Persona because Persona no really played Persona when it came out and everyone was like, yeah, it's great. It's like, oh, it's a very niche game. This is a very niche game and it does not look good. What's next? Next up, let's go. Spelunky! That's Spelunky kind of a new game. I, I know because I watched the game. Hi, my name is Derek Yu and I'm the creator of Spelunky. Spelunky! Oh, you died! For Spelunky 2, I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. There's a moon! It was important we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. I never played the first one, so I can't be like, wow. So many people became fans of the game through their friends and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer. Hey, so that's more good. More people can play the game together. Probably and I also good. wanted to include that feeling of community in the spot Wow, you just itself, freaking murdered a dog! The game felt welcoming, even though it's difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building an in-game community and family. Aww, it's a sloth! I designed the world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic than Spelunky 1. It's gonna wow, it's like blow fun. up that guy! Players will be able to explore and interact with it in lots of new ways. It's a sloth! For example, you'll be able to ride turkeys. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And find hidden passageways. And burn a dog. And you'll have to choose between branching paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. I killed the dog. As a result, the stories players create will have much more texture to them. Even after many, many hours of playing, I still have interesting runs that don't even go past the first area. Ooh. In Spelunky 1, runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. So in wow. Spelunky 2, we've expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Okay. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say how long it will take to find the deepest secrets. Hey, that's I think you the are. great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't know about. Crabby. And there are lots of new things to play with that I hope players can use to push past the boundaries of what we, as the developers, know it's about. There's a dog game. green gun! I have two types of favorite stories from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. Whoa! Ho, ho, that and second, guy the ones where people shared a fun experience with friends and family in multiplayer. 
These are the stories I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. That got really, really, really dark. My design choices. Really dark. After Just like you killed the shop owner. Wow. That could be done with a concept. I know. I was like, why are you still looking about that? Knowing that I possibility am. was out there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. He drowns. I like you know, that. I said when Spelunky there, 2 comes out, I want players to experience what we experienced making it. That feeling that there's something special there. Spelunky! I just like saying Spelunky! It's a fun thing to say. Spelunky! A big thanks to the fans who've waited patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. All two of you. It's been a long journey, but I think it's gonna be worth ah, it. I see what you did there. Thanks. That Yeti is not wearing a shirt, but definitely needs one. And that just got cruel. Oh, wow. That's like, oh. Wow, this, the whole thing is like an endless barrage of just torments. Oh, okay, not far release. It looks nice, it looks cute. I don't have anything against it like I did the last game where I was just like, wow, that stuff. We've got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you, starting with a closer look at Genshin Impact. I'm hooked immediately. What is this? Wow, that looks beautiful. Come on, let's take a look. Wow, that looks great. This is in our Breath of Wild Club, but it looks like a good one. Wow. I mean, magic. Okay, I I like this much better. Eagle! Wow, this is this is so much better than that Huntress game. Wow. Kudos. Kudos for you for upstaging that game. Wow, it's beautiful. I'm just in awe, and the waifus this will build? Yes. Oh, that was awesome. You cannot bring yourself to kill. Speak my name. What is this to which I await? That looks cool. That generally looks cool. Think you can get away? I will buy that. That looks generally good. Genshin Impact. I have to watch out for that. This autumn. Wow. That looks great. Hello, Monstropolis. Sentient self. I claim your mind for the Void Armada. Gods have squealed for my mercies. Who are you? To stand in the way of my vengeance. Okay, something about demons. Oh my gosh, we went from a really good game to this. This? I'll give it this, the art style looks pretty nice. What a waste of stardust. But it just looks like a standard being on. There has to be something different. The art style does look good. It does. Like. I don't know, it's easy to find me or something like that. Like a main, main find me. Well, hello, Bowser's inside story. Tron. Remember, Tron. Okay, that was a pretty cool shot. Wait, those are the bad guys? The bad guys look really badass. That's a cool flame hair. There are aspects of it, like, I like the animation. I'm just not getting behind the gameplay. I'm not quite certain what the gameplay is. You should have remained dead. They just merged. Aeon must die. <laughs> Next year, okay. I think the PS4 is still getting games in 2021. Uncharted? That was actually kind of nice. Granny Tation moves. Okay, that, um, art style's a bit mixed at the moment, but it, it got my attention with the art style, I'm not gonna lie. Art style is one way to get my attention, but the other just like, wow, gameplay was great. Beat City. That... I don't want to give it crazy yet. I, I like the art style with size of that, and I'm not even going for it. What's... Okay... Um, oh, it's Pixel! Like, that's generally pixel art, okay. 
That looks badass. Kyrie, no! That's literally, that literally, I said Kyrie. It's like, no, Kyrie, don't die on us, Kyrie! It's like, I'm sorry, Sora. I have to go to my final town to die. Something smells. Kyrie? Aqua? Kenny, that looks actually pretty good. It's Ram Mutant. Bug snacks. Let's check oh crap, this game. game. This game was fucking weird PS5. when they revealed it. They were just like, hey! My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bug Snacks. Wow. That's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two bit con artist! Whoa! Don't tell me you actually believe this half baked nonsense. I swear, if you chase this bug snack story, you're out of a job! What's going on? Journalist! Desperate said you'd be coming. There's a bug snack right over there. Yuri Lowenthal? My snack trap. Stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Use it to lead the bunger over yonder. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And that looks stupid. Wow, I thought it was part of the other one. This looks horrible. Of course he does. Of course it is. Okay, guys, I'm not the intent audience, but this looks horrible. I get the intentions. These things are kind of cute, but the, uh, the creatures themselves are horrible. And bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Snacksburg! God, shoot me. Well, say you do find these bug snacks and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going. And but will they eat off. you first? Am I man or the food? Hello, Light Fury. Ah, rock! He died. Bug snack. Okay, it didn't look as stupid as the trailer originally made. There's a lot more in store. Let's. Oh God! Be oh, Vader Immortal. That is good. I've been play Vader Immortal. I really have, and I don't have an Oculus. Deep inside your own Star Wars. Oh, good, a holocron. I don't like VR, but I could get behind this. You must stop Vida. I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the force. Oh, we say rank up. The lightsaber studio. Okay, I thought this game was different than I thought it was. I thought it was um, you got plays Vader, and it looks like you do. Do you get plays more characters than just Vader? Did this one suggest that? Vader immortal! As we know, no, he's not immortal, but it's nice. Thing. Fate has chosen you. August 5th, 25th. Wow, this month. Okay. I, I'd get that if I had a PSVR. I want to get the Iron Man game too with it. Air? Whatever you do, stay in the light. The moon landing. They, they filmed it. This is the museum. Control? It suspiciously looks like control. It like suspiciously, suspiciously does. And part of like it's control, right? It's like, no. Is it control? It looks like control. It's control, right? It, this has to be control too. I can't be like me being always like, this is this new control game. Yeah, call it control. Oh, it's a new DLC pass. Okay. Dragon Nest. I like that name. Which is this game? Um, okay. What is going on? But I somewhat love it. It's an R it's a tabletop RPG. Wow. Not what I was honestly expecting. Wow, okay. Um. Okay. 
Either I'm really sick or I'm smelling something. There's something going on. I kind of looks like I'm sorry. I want to imagine that Sephiroth and Cloud. She's like, yeah. We know. Those are at least like the trainer characters or something like that. Victory! That looks actually kind of pleasant. Auto chess. Oh, okay. Life is strange again. What? Hello. Architecture? The architect. The office? I, I really don't know. I'm just I'm just making guesses. Ooh. Okay, um That looks pretty simple. But I imagine it's really come oh I like those visuals. Oh my gosh, those visuals in the back are great. Oh that light was good too. Wow, why am I more impressed with the simple concepts, but I generally hate everything else, like Bad Breath of the Wild clone? Which I was just like downright spiteful of. Oh my gosh, that's a GBA. That's a, that has to be a GBA. DEATH! Okay, that's kinda cool. PlayStation. Okay. Pedestrian. The pedestrian. Ah, oh, looks nice. Not until I lost to play. PS5. Now let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. Okay, rock my freaking world. Are the forest shadows. Ghosts. Running silently between the straight, cold lines of a corrupt state. I'm impressed already. They count. Ration, manipulate. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm keeping that. From those they claim to protect. That's the Grail, isn't it? Authority and steel will not stop us. Is that no? I was gonna say it can't be a new Sounds Creek because the new one's Valhalla. We are wraiths. Bypass defenses and strike at the heart. Wow, this looks brutal. I like it. I know nothing about this, but oh, oh, that makes my neck feel thing. And the people call us heroes. From the day of night. The only missing is we're not. He's gonna kill one of them. He's gonna kill one of them. He's gonna kill one too. There's people in the rafters and Judge Call Throw is gonna sing Hellfire. I mean I think this stuff right here is gameplay. Which I hope it is. We are all Oh yes, it's a Robin Hood game! Robin Hood game! Wow, I never thought I'd be having a Robin Hood game! Wow! That has to be like Will Scarlet, Lil John, and wow! Wow, you got me impressed for a Robin Hood game. How is that possible? Wow. Good job. Good job. Great. That was highlight right now. Temtem, what's this? Oh, hello, Pokemon clone. This is the Pokemon clone. Oh my god. This is like borderline like copyright infringement. But I'm invested. Collect creatures. Wow. Hello, Temtem. I heard about you being ripoff. Battle friends. Hello, po again. This is a Pokemon ripoff. Even this music sounds like Pokemon. Wow, this is like the stuff you see on like, your app. It's like, play Pokemon. And it looks nothing like Pokemon, but yet it's still Pokemon. Okay, online play is kind of cool. Okay, this is like what Pokemon should have had. That Cloud Bush thing is kind of nice. This is all my world. I actually might have to read more about Temtem now, I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of interesting. Um, I don't really hate Pokemon clones if they're really good. Temtem. Temtem up in 2021. Before we wrap up, eh, let's okay. take a tour of Godfall. We've got new PS5 Oh yeah, we, we don't- Melee wait, we know something about this game, and like, little to nothing about Godfall. And I was just like, ultimately disappointed by a reveal, like, um, the Game Awards. Along with the final reveal of, um, 
really, you guys are like, hey, let's end the show with Fast and the Furious. Comment or review. Okay. Let's Hello. See you know. My name is Keith Lee. Oh god, Keith, you're making me want to hate you automatically, on aren't you? Of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. Today, you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress, and some things may change from the final product as yeah, we continue to Yeah, I'm well aware. I like the fancy aspect. Sony's next generation console. Please, Please enjoy. Don't... Please don't let this be like your main ride. So let's ride. jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action satisfying moment-to-moment -moment combat, and robust loot progression systems. You can I enjoy the word loot loot pace progression. playing alone, or through online co-op with up to two It sounds horrible. Teams. Loot progression. Wow. Godfall is set in Yeah, I've never seen microtransactions list of frost this with already. It's like, hey, guess what? Microtransactions! Oh, oh, the world is split up into the elemental realms of earth, water, yeah, wind. Air. Yeah, fire. And fire. Yeah. Godfall is a complete package. All loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. Also, no money. Microtransactions. No waiting for content. It's all in the game on day one. I like how they say As no microtransactions, and then part of me is like, yeah, you guys can have microtransactions online. Who you at the top. Mark my words. You play a Valorian knight. A godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Okay, I'm kind of invested in your lore. Now let's talk about gameplay. Um, I don't care anything awful. about your. Okay, I'm going to go to gameplay. Our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person nice melee combat it's... to create what we think is a looter slasher. I like how they're like, we, we think a looter slasher, but they actually don't know what that player is. Skill -driven. Like, In other what's, words, what's a not looter? only do we want you to find exquisite weapons, I think they're like defining the genre right now. We also want looter you to slash. have that feeling of accomplishment or mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. So you're just From copying Dark Souls formula. From a philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. Look, buddy, you have More to choose an art style. Not, you'll be Those two look too cartoony, but you're trying to go for this time. real world. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, why am I more bored by this than I was by the Robin Hood game, which looked In freaking Godfall, awesome? There are five weapon classes: the long sword, the sword, the dual blades, okay, the pole arm. Buddy, didn't you? The two-handed warhammer and the two-handed great sword. Buddy. Like, didn't Each you play like RPGs? There sets, has to be a ranged attack. Ranging from fast combos to more strategic. You can have the spear, play. but at the same time, it's like, you, you don't really have that with the spear. The spear is like stab, 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 repeat stabbing. For each you heal the spear, uh, the each spear type with weapon. Own primary and secondary traits. It's, it's not range. I know you want to be like he's a swordsman. It's like yeah, and how to implement a ranged weapon like throwing daggers. For now, we'll go over the dual blades. And longsword weapon classes. God, you're not done talking. The dual blades are the fastest weapon class in Godfall, embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. But the thing is, the you can always you have to think of them as the same sword, not two. Targets, I not have targets. targets. You can perform a combo by executing four consecutive light attacks. Okay. The dual blades heavy attack is a spinning blade cyclone. The blade, blade can also be used as a finisher funny. at the end of your blade cyclone. So what are the signature moves for the blades? As you build up charge, Sacco, 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 Sacco. Focus, which is I like saying Sacco. Blades, so much massive damage. It's just so much fun to say. It's so much more fun There's than the game. There's also Mortal Coil, 
where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you, like pulling a cable. I a bad idea, but Kratos does. Ah! Now let's switch to the longsword weapon. Long swords! Long swords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage. It should just be like a regular equipment or just a regular sword. a lot of elaborate combo setups. Whee! Similar to I use here Long swords have their own four-hit light attack combo. That's and then the heavy attack. The heavy attack finisher, which okay. can be used at the end of your light attack combo. There okay. are three signature moves for the longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and That's deals high cool. damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all oh! enemies in a Oh! Okay, at fix. times combat looks really great. Notice there's a white flash after a longsword swing called a timing attack. Yeah. If you press the shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut okay. on the longsword. Okay. It's kind of cool. The shield is a shield! part of Godfall. Strategic combo to you throughout the entire game. Intelligence you can always today. block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry an attack. Parry! You parry can the perform block light the attack after a last second shield block to counterattack with a powerful shield strike. Strike! The shield is great. Not I just the character defense, dies before he did it. Offense. You can aim and throw your shield. Which will hit multiple nearby targets. Okay, now you're showing the rage weapon that I was mainly concerned about. Just as you catch your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. Okay. You can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. Okay. And of course, you can perform an R3 ground finisher on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. I didn't have to show it once and fade out. Again, I want to know more about the story than the gameplay. Oh, I am. Um. What's his name? Reinhardt. Reinhardt from um, Overwatch. Why should we care what's going on? It's just a strong enemy. He, I like how he's like, we have to keep with their attention. Let's do attacks that don't hit. I think that's kind of funny. Ooh. Maybe this is like one of those things that's really fun in the moment, but it's just kind of slow, boring. You did such a great job with 4A keys. I don't hate you with keys, it's just you had such a strong beginning. That looks just slow and repetitive. You just keep on cutting back to that footage in between. This doesn't enjoyed work. Our first walkthrough video of Godfall Keith, running I have some notes. Station five. We also want to thank all the fans for their endless support since our initial reveal back in December. We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join the Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Godfall, you. I don't hate you yet. I want to, though. I really do. Because you see, like, you be crap. I don't want you to be crap. Yeah. Don't be crap! <laughs> I'm harsh on these people. I really am, because I want them to do better. That's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this peek into What the you said before, we're done! See you next time. You freaking lie to me! We expected more after that! You lying imbeciles! You lied to me! You lied to me! You told me it was for me to have more stuff! But anyway, I kinda liked it. There were some good parts I was like, wow. The stuff that surprised me really good, that Robin Hood game, phenomenal. Um, um, that um, new um, Crash Fantasy game looks good. I like the introduction of Dingo Dial. Don't you dare disappear on me yet. I'm pausing on you. Yeah. Yeah. You better, yeah, you better stay there. I see you. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I mean, it's editing. Tell them. Stay safe. Goodbye. Sorry. Mm, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, that's why I said like, that's because I didn't like. I didn't like the ending. Godfall was a horrible thing to end on, in my opinion, but besides that, pretty decent. Well, 
Again, once again, time for editing. Bye-bye.